Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how you can cut down a really big tree, a really big pine tree. This is an eastern white pine with a pretty small kind of homeowner saw. And really, it's it's all about, like I said in my previous umpteen t you know videos, have a sharp chain, sharpen knife, sharpen chain, you know, all that stuff. A sharp tool is a safe and efficient tool. So even though this is a 16-inch bar, I'm going to cut down this 20. 24 inch at the butt white pine. Uh, try to at least. Come on. Oh, ho, ho. what? There we go. There we go. Yes, sir. Uh, well, it went pretty swimmingly. I uh, I needed that last little bit of fulcrum because my wedges just weren't big enough and I think it was hung up a little bit on those tiny little guys and it just needed a hair more persuasion. All right, well that's a Husqvarna 445 16 inch bar and uh, it's a lot of tree. Some sort of trophy.
everybody welcome back to a house from trees uh, literally a house from trees so I have been thinning out uh, some of the southern uh, exposure to let more light in uh, at this time of year this is a great time of year to be doing it because here in the northern hemisphere of North America Maine specifically uh, our days last about 20 minutes the Sun comes up sneezes and then it goes back down again it's not really it's, they're just short days at this time of year winter solstice is coming up very very short days and the sun does not get very high in the sky and that's the south and i've just been thinning some of these big pines to allow more light onto the house and it's paying off it's i don't know 10 10 30 in the morning right now uh, anyway i'm left with a pretty good sized pile of really nice saw logs and uh, it's time that I start processing them, processing them into lumber. So my employer was uh, generously uh, allowed me to bring the Woodmiser LT35 over here. Uh, and now it's right, right next to my pile of logs. I don't need to move these massive logs on a janky car trailer all the way over to there. It's only a couple miles, but it's still, it added up. So this is gonna save a lot of time, a lot of effort, and I'm doing a work trade for it. So. I'm going to be spending a lot of time on this mill making hay while the sun shines and doing a little bit of carpentry, but I'm, I'm going to be stacking lumber. So that's what, uh, that's what I'm going to be up to for the next few weeks or so. So I got, got myself a good pile of wood to process. I mean, some of these are just giant, giant logs and uh, it's nice. Boy, that tractor is working out very, very well. I've had a couple uh, little issues with the diesel gelling. I'm learning about diesel right now, but with that counterweight on the back and the forks, boy, no problem lifting any of these. So, come along, here we go.
over. <coughs>